dear friends in this video we will discuss hypothesis testing involving bivariate population that is there are two groups and you would like to test whether the population means for the two groups are significantly different from each other we are going to use t test where we assume the populations are independent let me straight away get into the problem situation an aptitude test was conducted for two groups of executives group 1 consists of engineers and group 2 consists of accountants the scores obtained by the candidates are given below is there a significant difference in scores between the groups the scores are given engineers accountants 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 observations as sample here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 observations are selected we assume the populations are normally distributed with unknown variance but the variances are assumed to be equal now from the wording of the question the population mean scores of both the groups are equal is the null hypothesis the alternative hypothesis ha the population mean scores of both the groups are not equal when you are using the t test it is not necessary that both the groups must have the same sample size it could be different the degrees of freedom will be n1 plus n2 minus 2 here it is 9 plus 8 is 17 therefore the t stat will have 15 degrees of freedom 17 minus 2 in order to test the hypothesis using the t stat we first in the jupiter node of python import the following important core libraries import pandas as pd from skypy import stats import statistics these three are required now let me just execute this then i come here enter the data engineers scores yeah, i put here underscore here as a variable that is declared so the engineer scores are entered 125 115 119 etc 118 similarly i declare another variable accountants underscore scores which is 112 98 109 etc 100 and the scores are entered just out of curiosity even before doing the formal test of hypothesis i just compute the mean scores for engineers and print the same then mean scores for the accountant and print the same using the function statistics which i have imported statistics dot mean engineers underscores then i round it to four decimal places mean engineers round it then i print mean engineers scores as mean engineer similarly i do mean accountant scores statistics dot mean i round it as before to four decimal places print mean accountant scores is equal to mean accountant let me execute this for you the mean scores for engineers is 112.8889 four decimal places mean scores for the accountants is 
uh, to four decimal places, it's an integer. Therefore, it is 97 is reflected. 97.0000. Then I go to the formal hypothesis testing. I have a variable that I declare in Python tstat1 where I use stats function. I have already imported stats dot t test. Then I just declare the populations are independent. Ind, I put here t test underscore ind. Then I enter engineers underscores, comma accountants underscores, equal variance is a comment I put. I'm assuming the population variances are unknown, but equal. Then T stat one is computed. I declare it as a data frame for readability purpose. I want to declare in an elegant manner the results. Then I say T stat one is equal to PD dot data frame T stat one, T stat one dot columns. I name it as result. Then T stat one dot index. That is the rows are named T stat comma P value print T stat one rounded to four places. When I execute this, I get the result, the computer T stat 2.1813. The corresponding P value is 0 0.0455. Mind you, it is a two tailed test. Since the P value 0 0.455 is less than alpha, which is the desired risk or the level of significance of the test, the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative is accepted. In other words, the population mean IQ scores of both the groups are not equal. Now, when nothing is specified, I take the level of significance of the test as 0 0.05. The actual risk is p-value, which is 0 0.0455, is less than the desired risk alpha, which is 0 0.05. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected. The alternative is accepted. We have concluded the engineering group scores and the uh, accountants uh, group scores are not equal. Now, in order to understand the p-value, I just give you here the uh, t-value here. Uh, that is uh, first group, I compute the graph for 15 degrees of freedom. The p-value is pt less than minus 2.1813, which is 0 0.02274. Likewise, on the right-hand side, for the computer T stat 1.813, the same 0 0.0274. I add these two, I get a P value 0.0455. And that is the diagram that is captured for you so that you can understand in the two tail test, I will have to add the two P values together to get the composite P value. If you are using the one tail test, it will be simply one of the two tails depending upon whether the test is left tail or the right tail. Thank you very much. I hope you have understood. Thanks a lot. Uh, we will meet you soon in another video. Thank you very much.